Welcome to Lose Yourself with Dr. Mike Cunningham, Bible teacher in Vineyard, Utah. When we lose ourselves in worldly distractions, we lose our value, our purpose, and our passion in exchange for temporal experiences. But Jesus says that whoever would lose their life for his sake will find it. Let's learn what it means to lose yourself with Dr. Mike. Welcome to Lose Yourself. I'm Dr. Mike Cunningham, and I'm so glad you could join me for today's program. Friends, welcome to 2024. We ended the year strong with a series on Advent, and then last week we started the first part of this two-week series, talking about last week, looking back, giving thanks, finding closure, and then today we're gonna talk about looking forward with hope to the new year with the confidence that only comes in the gospel. In some ways, today's program is a sequel to the hope candle that we did at Advent. The first candle of Advent was the hope candle that recognized the posture of waiting and patience that the Israel had on the arrival of the coming Messiah, which of course we talked about was so much more than a political or military leader, but the savior of all mankind for those who believe. That was a great episode in our Advent series that I encourage you to go back and listen to on the podcast with that particular hope candle pointing towards Christmas. But today we're going to talk about Facing the new year with hope. Friend, I need to ask you, are you looking forward to the new year with hope or dread? The gospel allows Christians to face an uncertain future with hope. Now, first, before we get into this, what is hope? Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Hope is a powerful force that sustains us through the darkest of times. But what does Christian hope really mean? It goes beyond wishful thinking or mere optimism. It encompasses a profound trust in God's promises and a steadfast belief in his faithfulness. Christian hope is rooted in the transformative power of Jesus Christ, whose birth we celebrated recently at Christmas. It's anchored in the knowledge that no matter how dire our circumstances may seem, there's always a glimmer of light shining through the cracks of despair. This hope takes hold when we embrace the truth that God's love knows no bounds and he works all things together for our good. In this new year, understanding Christian hope means recognizing that it transcends the temporal desires and extends to eternity. It reminds us to fix our eyes on eternal treasures rather than fleeting worldly possessions. As Christians, we have an unshakable expectation of future glory where pain will be replaced by joy, tears will be wiped away, and brokenness will give way to wholeness. Yet even amid this unwavering confidence in God's promises, Christian hope acknowledges the reality of suffering and uncertainty in our present world. It allows space for questions without easy answers and doubts without condemnation. For true hope embraces vulnerability while offering solace through community and prayer. So let's embark on this new year with hearts filled with Christian hope, not as an escape from life's challenges, but as an anchor amid them. Living with hope means acknowledging the power of God's truth in our lives. John 14, 6 states that Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that truth is the foundation of our faith and of the gospel. And we need to live that every day. In a world often plagued by uncertainty and changes, believers hold on to an unwavering assurance that transcends circumstances. The beauty lies in the fact that God's truth remains constant amid an ever-changing landscape. It serves as an anchor for weary souls, reminding us that there is purpose beyond what we can see with our limited perspective. This divine truth whispers gently in our hearts, assuring us that even in times of darkness and despair, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. With each passing year, Christians are reminded of their unique position as recipients and stewards of this incredible hope. As they navigate through life's trials and triumphs, they do so with trust and confidence because they know they are not alone. The promises found with God's truth accompany them on their journey. Promises of restoration, redemption, and abundant grace. So as we step into this new year brimming with possibilities, yet accompanied by uncertainties, let us remember the immeasurable power held within God's truth, a power capable of transforming lives, healing brokenness, and breathing life into seemingly dead situations. As Christians look ahead to 2024, it isn't just another chapter. 
it signifies a fresh opportunity to witness miracles birthed from faith. Speaking of faith, it isn't just another chapter. It signifies a fresh opportunity to witness the miracle of the gospel lived out in a fallen world. Amid all of these distractions and uncertainties, it's important for Christians to focus on the faithfulness of God. Hebrews 10.23 says, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. We can always find solace in the unwavering faithfulness of our Creator. As we reflect on the past year, it becomes evident that amid the tribulations, God's presence remained steadfast through every storm that raged within and around us. His hand guided us towards hope and renewal. Even when we felt overwhelmed by fear or doubt, He gently whispers words of comfort and reminds us of His promises. In those moments when darkness threatened to engulf our hearts, His light shone through with an undeniable brilliance. Looking back at the last year reveals a tapestry woven with threads of grace and mercy. We see how seasons of struggle were transformed into opportunities for growth. Challenges became stepping stones towards resilience. Heartbreaks paved the way for healing. Ups and downs have taught us valuable lessons about trust, surrender, and perseverance. Lessons that will shape us as we step into this new chapter. As we embark on another journey around the sun, let's carry these lessons close to our hearts. Let them serve as reminders that no matter what lies ahead, whether joyous or sorrowful, God's faithfulness is unchanging. May this knowledge ignite a flame within us every day as we seek Him wholeheartedly. Let's embrace this new year with an anticipation, but with also with awe for all that was accomplished in the last one. Friends, if we live in fear, we rob ourselves of God's joy. We need to trust in God's faithfulness and not our feelings. This allows us to live in confidence and not fear in the new year. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. As we step into a new year, it's natural to reflect on the challenges and uncertainties that lie ahead. However, as Christians, our perspective is filled with hope and assurance. Living with confidence instead of fear requires a shift in mindset and embracing the promises that God has for us. Confidence stems from knowing who we are in Christ, beloved children of God. This understanding allows us to navigate life's ups and downs. Secure in the knowledge that we are never alone or abandoned, we can boldly face each day because our hope rests not on human circumstances, but on an unwavering faith in a loving Creator. Overcoming fear requires active encouragement in our faith. It means seeking daily communion with God through prayer, reflection, study of Scripture, and the fellowship within our Christian community. As we deepen our relationship with Him, He fills us with His perfect love, which casts out all fear. Living confidently also involves stepping out of our comfort zones into areas where growth happens. Embracing change may be intimidating at times. However, when anchored in faith rather than fear, it opens doors to new opportunities for personal development and spiritual transformation. This coming year offers countless opportunities to live confidently as ambassadors of Christ's love, extending grace to others without prejudice or judgment while standing firm against injustice and equality and sin. May this new year be marked by a renewed sense of confidence rooted in unfailing hope. And that, my friends, is how God's people make a difference. 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Our labor is not in vain. We need to trust God in our interactions and the way we live our life and trust Him with the results. In a world often overshadowed by fear, uncertainty, and despair, the role of hope becomes more significant than ever. As we step into this new year, it's crucial for Christians to embrace the responsibility in spreading hope to those around them. Hope is not just an abstract concept of wishful thinking. It's a powerful force to transform lives. It has the ability to breathe life into desolate situations and ignite a flame of optimism, even amid the darkest moments. As followers of Christ, we have been entrusted with this incredible gift. So how can we make a difference? The answer lies in our actions, words, and attitudes. By embodying love and compassion towards others, regardless of their background or beliefs, we become beacons of hope shining through the fog of pessimism. We must listen attentively to those who are hurting and discouraged, offering solace and understanding without judgment. Simple acts of kindness go a long way in reminding people 
that they are seen and valued. We can extend help when needed. Moreover, let us use our voices wisely. In conversations filled with negativity and division, let's be conduits of unity and reconciliation instead, while still holding to biblical authority. Our words carry tremendous power. They can either deflate hearts burdened by despair or ignite them towards healing. Ultimately, spreading hope that is only found in the gospel should permeate every aspect of our lives. So friends, speak God's love and faithfulness to your doubts and fears, and then share that same hope with others. My friends, I'm just going to give you some action items as we face this new year. Immerse yourself in God's word. Romans 15, 13 reminds us that God is the source of all hope and can fill us with joy and peace. We need to stay connected to our community, people who share our convictions, but also are co-laborers on this journey. Don't forget to embrace gratitude and also seek solitude. When we have a chance to start each year with a sense of self-examination, we need to be quiet and we need to be grateful. And then through that, God can guide us in the next steps of our life. And most importantly about being quiet, we're able to shut out all of the worldly negativity that distracts us from God's plans. We need to serve others, and most importantly, we need to surrender control of our lives. Lose Yourself is a call to discipleship. That means that we willingly let God shape our lives and extend our value as opposed to seeking that in the world. That attitude and that surrender is what will help you face the next year with hope and confidence. I conclude with a couple of quotes. Billy Graham says, Our world today so desperately hungers for hope, yet uncounted people have almost given up. There is despair and hopelessness on every hand. Let us be faithful in proclaiming the hope that is in Jesus. And finally, Charles Spurgeon states, Faith goes up the stairs that love has built and looks out on the windows which hope has opened. I leave you today with 2 Corinthians 5. 11 through 21. So from now on, regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Friend, that is your commissioning verse for this next year. May God use you powerfully in 2024. Friend, as we venture into 2024, I hope you'll do so with hope. I hope you'll know that God is in control and that when you've given God that surrender of your life, he will use you in incredible ways and help you in your journey to walk forward with confidence and joy. Friend, today I hope you will surrender to God and let him define you and use you. If there's anything in your way, I can't think of a better time than a new year to start a new path, to let go of the things that hinder you and to look forward with hope. Every new year is a new opportunity. And I encourage you to embrace that this year. And may it be an amazing year where God works a transformative miracle in your life. Thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you on our next episode of Lose Yourself. This has been Lose Yourself. Lose Yourself is a teaching ministry of Bible teacher, Dr. Mike Cunningham. For more information about Mike and his ministry, check out his blog at loseyourself.life. Until next time, make it your ambition to lose yourself to Christ. Lose Yourself is a production of Key Radio.